At the moment, Xiaomi Turbo 3 is the latest mid-ranger phone you can lay hands on from the Xiaomi Redmi lineups. The Turbo 3 is the direct successor of the Xiaomi Note 12 Turbo, which is one of the best-selling phones of last year 2023, and it is likely the Turbo 3 is gonna perform much better. In this video, we're gonna review the Redmi Turbo 3. Welcome back. This is Ian. Before we go into the details, let's unbox the Turbo 3. First impression, in spite of shipping with a huge 5000 mAh battery, the Turbo 3 seems to be very light. The box contains an ultra-fast 90-watt charger brick with an orange Type-A to Type-C USB cable which charges the Turbo 3 to 40% in 11 minutes and 100% in 38 minutes. This is an impressive fit, especially from a phone in this caliber whose contendants struggle to ship with a 60-watt charger. Well, except for a few. And apart from the special Harry Porter edition, the Turbo 3 comes in Blad Green back, Ice Titanium back and Malving Black back colors. SIM removal tool, user manual and solid gray or black colored case are also contained in the box. And for reference, I have just unboxed the 12GB RAM 256GB ROM of the Redmi Turbo 3. And that's all for the unboxing. Let's now move to the next focus. Just like many others, the Turbo 3 is an all-plastic body-made phone, but unlike most others, the Turbo 3 wears a very premium look. Though with a plastic back, the Turbo 3 is protected with a Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. With a 7.8 mm thickness, the device weighs around 179 grams. The device comes with a mic and a USB Type-C inlet at the bottom. And just as you may have guessed, Turbo 3 is a dual nano SIM phone with support for dual SIM at standby capabilities. And now, the display. Turbo 3 has a screen to body ratio of 89.9% in a 1220 by 2712 resolution. And on top of this, the device screen is a AMO LED with up to 120Hz refresh rate and 480Hz touch sampling rate, has Dolby Vision and HDR10+. In all, the device's display is 6.67 inch in size. Interestingly, because the Turbo 3 is IP64 rated, the device screen responds quietly fine when it is operated with a wet hand. By this, the Turbo 3 can't only survive light rains or contact with water substances, you can also operate the device under such situations. With a brightness of up to 2400 nits for the HDR contents, the Turbo 3 can be very well operated comfortably in bright environments such as under direct sunlight. In manual mode, Turbo 3 screen brightness can be adjusted to up to 550 to 570 nit while in auto mode, the brightness can be pushed to 1100 nits. And for indoor use cases, the Turbo 3 can go up to 1920 PWM dimming. Also, Turbo 3 has a very responsive under display fingerprint scanner useful for unlocking the device and by other apps that utilize fingerprints on the device. For enhanced quality and steady sound output, there's been a little tweak in the Turbo 3 as the device has speakers both at the top and bottom edges. One thing should be noted though, Turbo 3 has no support for 3.5mm jack. Powered by Qualcomm SM8635 Snapdragon 8S Gen 3, the Turbo 3 is able to give outstanding performances in terms of speed, responsiveness etc. But Gizmo China speaks volume on this device's chipset. Let's cut a clip from there. Turbo 3 is powered by the latest Snapdragon AS Gen 3 chip with the same Exxon X4 A720 cores as the A Gen 3. And in benchmark test, this chip is very close to the A Gen 2. Even though this chip has been downgraded in terms of ISP, cache, etc., there's no doubt that, there's no doubt that this is definitely still a flagship level performance. Gaming test starting with our old friend Genshin Impact underwater in the fountain area, the Turbo 3 performed much better than 12 Turbo with the 7 Plus Gen 2 chip, and almost the same performance as some moments as some models using A Gen 2. In PUBG Mobile, when set to smooth graphics and 90 FPS, both phones could run the game very smoothly, but the Turbo 3 not only had the smaller frame rate fluctuations, but also consumed the less power, a very impressive performance. And now, the power. The Turbo 3 ships with 5000 mAh battery that charges from 1 to 40% in 11 minutes and 1 to 100% in 38 minutes using a USB Type-C cable and a 90 watts charger brick that comes with the phone. With the 256GB and 12GB RAM, 
512 GB and 12 GB RAM, 512 GB and 16 GB RAM and the 1 TB and 16 GB RAM storage options, depending on individual storage needs, Turbo 3 has more than enough space for installing apps and for various multimedia needs even without the external card slot option. Out of the box, Turbo 3 ships with Android 14 with Xiaomi Hyper OS on top of it. Although, as at the time this video has been compiled, we're uncertain how many major Android updates Xiaomi promises for the Turbo 3 users, we're hoping the experience would be similar to what's promised for the Poco C61 users. Thanks to the superb performance of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 chipset, Turbo 3 can play most major games effortlessly, making the Turbo 3 an excellent choice for gamers. It's so good that, even the Power Munger games are played efficiently with noticeably less throttle and much lesser heat are generated. Although, with no support for 3.5mm jack, gamers that prefer using headphones while gaming would have to consider another Turbo 3 contender. With support for 4G LTE and 5G, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, NFC, infrared and USB Type-C which has OTG support, the Turbo 3 is definitely a connectivity powerhouse. Honestly, I cannot fathom why Turbo 3 must have infrared support especially, in the year 2024 where almost no one, as far as phone connectivity is concerned, wants to use infrared. But then, that's likely a plus for Turbo 3 users. And now, the camera. Apart from the interesting software upgrades the Turbo 3 has got over its predecessor, upgrades such as the, the ability to switch scenes in a taken picture such as the AI sky generation feature or to remove objects from the taken pictures, Xiaomi has made a few changes in the Turbo 3 camera hardwares, the most noticeable been the micro lens that's gotten rid of which is now replaced with a more glaring flashlight. The Turbo 3 camera is now the same as what we saw in the OnePlus Nord C4 but with wider aperture. The faster lens is why we're able to capture clearer shots with strong background blur. With the 50 megapixels LYT 608 megapixels IMX355, pictures taken with the Turbo 3 are now more natural with the colors on point and exposures well balanced. With video captures, Turbo 3 supports 4K at 60fps and does a good job. The selfie camera is a 20 megapixel sensor that pairs with FP2.2 lens, captures good quality pictures. Though the selfie camera does not do 4K shooting, it's only 1080 at 60 FPS max but with a really stable footage. To wrap it all up, Turbo 3 can be said to be a super mid-ranger that champions right below the Xiaomi or Redmi flagships such as the K-series. In any case, if you are looking for a smartphone that gives you flagship experiences in terms of the design, speed, storage, connectivity options and delivers pleasing video, sound and other multimedia experiences, and all of these coupled with excellent gaming experience but without the bank-breaking cost of the flagships, the Turbo 3 is definitely a smart option that should be considered. Now, we have come to the end of this review. If you have seen this review to this end, thank you for watching and for your time. If you have specific questions to ask, either it's covered in this review or not, or, you have some issues with using the Redmi Turbo 3, let's read your questions in the comments and we'll respond ASAP. Meanwhile, remember to follow our channel on YouTube, our page on Facebook and our Twiddle channel. Also, remember to check back on our channels for extended review of Redmi Turbo 3 device which we usually upload after 6 months of extended experiences with the device. Until we meet again, this is Ian. Thank you and God bless.